What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Jersey Giant by Tyler Childers. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And the guitar that we're jamming on today is Orangewood Morgan Mahogany in their new natural burst finish. Orangewood is this month's channel sponsor. They're having their biggest sales of the year from now through the rest of the holiday season. So if you're interested in a new guitar, check out the link in the description to shop Orangewood's biggest sales of the year. And one more quick note before we dive into Jersey Giant. As of filming this video, there are only live recordings of this song. It's an unreleased song. So I'm I'm basing what I'm teaching here and what I'm playing off of the live recordings. This is really close to what he's playing live, but maybe a little bit simplified. So just be aware of that. If he does release a studio version of this song in the future, it may be a little bit different than the way that I teach it in this video. The first thing that you want to know to play Jersey Giant on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and you don't need a capo to play this song. The next thing that you want to know for Jersey Giant is the structure of this song. We'll start with a verse, then go to chorus, then verse and chorus again. Then we're going to have a short bridge and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive to Jersey Giant is the five chords that you need to play this song. The first one is G, the next one is D, the next one is A minor, the next one is C over B, and the last one is C. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all those linked in the pinned comment down below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, let's dive into Jersey Giant. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is what we're playing for our verses and our choruses, which is most of the song. The only place it changes up is the bridge. We'll get there in just a minute. Our chord progression for our verses and choruses is going to be G, D, A minor, C over B, and then C repeated through all of our verses and all of our choruses. You'll notice that some of those chords have stars next to them. That's because for those two chords, we're gonna be doing a different strum pattern. I'll go over that in just a second. So first, let's take a look at the strum pattern we'll be using for all of our non-starred chords. For all of our non-starred chords, our strum pattern is gonna be down, down, up, down, up, two times for each one of those non-starred chords. So about like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then switch. So going through our chord progression. Next to D, that's another non-starred chord. Same strum pattern, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then we get to that A minor, that's the first starred chord. That chord has one star next to it. So essentially for this chord, the A minor, and the next chord, the C over B, we're basically gonna split the strum pattern between those two chords. So we're gonna stay on the A minor a little longer. So for the A minor, we're gonna do down, down, up, down, up, and then down, down, up, and then we're gonna go to that C over B and do just down, down, up. Just like that. So one more time through those two chords. That's about what it'll look like. That C over B is really just a really quick transition chord into our last chord, the C, which is a non-starred chord, so that will get that full strum pattern that we went over for the non-starred chord. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up just about like that. And that right there, that chord progression with those three strum patterns will repeat through most of the song, all of the verses and all of the choruses. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through that chord progression and strum pattern situation that will repeat through all the verses and choruses on Jersey Giant will look about like this without me talking. the only other thing that you need to know to play Jersey Giant on guitar is what we're playing for our bridge. For our bridge, we're going to use kind of a combination of some of the things that we've already used. It's pretty straightforward and simple, and it's a very small part of the song. So first, let's take a look at our chord progression. Our chord progression for our bridge is going to be A minor, C over B, C, and then back to C over B. That's your first line. We'll repeat that three times, and then we'll go to that second line there, and we've got A minor and D. That's your whole chord progression for the bridge. That just plays through once for the whole bridge, and then you're into that last chorus of the song. So now looking at that first line there, 
That first line, you'll notice that we have stars again next to the chords that we're playing. Those starred chords, we're gonna be doing the same strum pattern situation that we did for our verses and choruses in this bridge part as well. So those single starred chords and the double starred chords, that's gonna have the same exact strum pattern situation that we used for our verse and chorus strum patterns. And then same thing on that second line there too, those non-starred chords are gonna have the same strum pattern as the non-starred chords in the verse and chorus. So with all that in mind, let's actually walk through this and see what it looks like. Starting with that A minor there, same strum pattern we use for the A minor in the verses and choruses. We're gonna have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, just like that. Then we go to that C over B, C over B, both of the ones in the bridge here are gonna be that same strum pattern situation, just down, down, up, real quick, in and out of that C over B, both of those. Down, down, up, and then into the C. So on this one, the C, we're gonna play that same strum pattern we just used for the A minor there. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then back to the C over B, same thing for this C over B, down, down, up. And then we repeat that right there, that top line, three times. So played out, it looks like this. We go. Just like that. And then back to that A minor, it loops back around three times. Then we go to that second line there of the bridge. That one is just straightforward. We got that A minor, same strum pattern we're using for the non-star chords. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And we go to D, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Just about like that. And then that last D chord there will lead us into the last chorus of the song. So guys, with all that in mind, once all the way through that bridge chord progression strum pattern situation that we'll be using for Jersey Giant will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Jersey Giant on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 950 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least two to three new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude to see other cool guitar related content and just load up to so many videos. And one more week shout out to Orangewood. Thank y'all so much for being this month's channel sponsor. Again, if you're looking for a new guitar, this holiday season, check out the link in the description below to shop Orangewood's best deals of the year. Guys, Jersey Giant is a beautiful unreleased song from Tyler Childers, and I'm really stoked to share it with y'all. It's pretty simple chord progressions, pretty simple strum patterns the whole way through. I've been wanting to teach this one for a while. My brother recommended it to me about a month ago, and I've been hearing it on TikTok a lot. So I finally was like, I'm just going to teach it, man, because it's just been stuck in my head. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun learning Jersey Giant. I hope you guys do too, and I'll see y'all soon.